Good morning, everyone. Today, got my hat on, representing the snails, and uh, I think I'm gonna get some work done. I got my this is my work gear. No dress shirt today, just the aquarium co-op shirt. Got the hat on. Now I gotta go to the airport, pick up a ton of plants. You know, I was in Chicago. We got a little bit low. You saw that little miniature shipment, but uh, that I picked up from the wholesaler. But this time, I I don't know. I have to look. This may be the most plants I've ever bought. It, it was definitely the most money I've ever spent at one time on plants, but I don't know if it's the sheer number of plants. So, got to pick that up. Uh, and then my next goal is one of two. I don't know exactly what's happening yet. Either A, I'm helping Bob buy another 240 gallon tank today, or B, I'm planting tons of plants in here because I was inspired by that fish room tour, which I know I got to edit still. But that's what I'm doing today. And uh, yeah, so. I mean, I know. Oh, I also am going to uh, put lots of video and stuff like that. Got it here. You know, this was that uh, black aranda that had the anchor worm. Clean as a whistle now, looking great. You know, so all that went down while uh, you know Chicago Aquatic Experience. You know, we we basically added on at least another week at this point, and we had one fish with anchor worm. Hasn't had anchor worm in a long time, so. Now I can start getting those videos up by the time they sell, and now it's been a few weeks uh, before we ship it out. We'll obviously be super careful when we do ship, and uh, I think we're good to go. So, ooh, let me, let me chime in on those Barbados Corys. Like, I wanna look at those. Even though my day is gonna be busy today, I get sidetracked with, but it wouldn't hurt to take a look, right? Yeah, surely not. Let me grab my chair here. Ooh, and let's take a look. Oh yeah. So I just love these guys, and they haven't even really colored up yet. We just started feeding them. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I'll probably put them in a bigger tank uh, at some point. But I just put them here for quarantine, so they're in this 20-gallon tank, living with some shrimp. And uh, yeah, there's 10 of them, and I don't know. I just love them for a corridor species. I mean, look at that guy's face. It's just rad, and that. The gold highlights you see, it can get like a super intense gold that I just actually, you know, really love. But, you know, they're hiding in the weeds. That's what they do. That's what fish do. So, uh, but why am I in the fish room this morning? I've got to catch a ghost knife for a customer. They want it and we'll call them once I get it in there. And I just got to go, oh, put it in a bucket, take it with me, go to the airport, get it there. Boom, get back here, make stuff happen. All right, so I'm in the stock room. We've got the plants, employees are unloading. We got Kaylee over there. She's packing your guys' orders right now. They're still coming in. Uh, I'm picking out some rocks. I think I'm gonna shoot a video on uh, aquascaping one of the tanks, something like that. So I'm gonna pick out a rock package, which I've had her kind of just doing that nonstop. So like this is, let's see, this is some stuff. But all this right here, this is all, well, it's, I guess it's a mix. Dragonstone, we've got Manzanita wood, Ceru stone, Malaysian driftwood, and so I'm gonna do something with a package just like you guys would buy it. And uh, so yeah, we're working on getting lots more on that on the website, and so watch for that. Well, it's already on there, so people are already buying it, but if you're not already, you should check it out. We've got it all sorted out, that type of thing. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, Kaylee's got her own email address now, so you can write to her directly, K-A-L-I at AquariumCoop.com. So if your order is awesome or it's missing something or anything like that, just go ahead and shoot her an email and uh, she'll get that taken care of, which you can shoot it to me too. I'll forward it across. So no worries there. And uh, yeah, I got to get in the car. I've got a bunch of plants loaded up uh, to do in the fish room. And we're still waiting on Bob Steenfot Aquatics. He's wavering on, do I rent a U-Haul? Don't I rent a U-Haul? Because now he's buying a 125 and a 240 gallon tank or something like that. But he's hating the U-Haul prices just like I hate the U-Haul prices. So... All right, get in the car, get into work. We'll see what comes out today. All right, so there's way more orders than I thought, so I'm sticking around to help pack with Kaylee here. We're just gonna we're gonna groove out some music and uh, get this done. So here we go. I thought I would chime in real quick on the goldfish tank. Doing way, way, way better. You know, they're all swimming around, doing their thing. I've got a couple of plant casualties. You can see here, a few of the newbie sleeves have kind of come off. I think that's from me not feeding them as much, so the goldfish were extra hungry and nipping at plants. 
And then on top of that, uh, with a little bit of salt in the water, weakens the plants a little bit. That being said, looking pretty good. And uh, I think the salt even killed a little bit of the black beard algae off of the, the plant, so that's good. But still haven't changed water, just kind of letting it marinate, do its thing. And, uh, you know, now I'm going to go and play in the fish room and uh, get some plans planned and work on some tanks and see if I can't make some videos happen. So, you know, hang out with me. So I just shot two videos using this 40 gallon breeder. I taught people how to clean a sponge filter, how to vac gravel vacuum well in my opinion. You know, there's some tips and tricks there. Uh, and then I did a one tank at a time how I'm gonna set up this uh, mystery snail slash guppy breeding tank. And uh, so yeah, water's gotta fill back up and stuff like that. So look for that in the future. You guys are getting a little sneak peek, sneak peek right here. Uh, which made me want to chime in on some of the other one tank at a times. If we come over here, we've got uh, the molly tank still. Uh, no one sexed out as a male as far as I can tell. Crips are still doing okay. Uh, you know, need to pull out some of the algae. I'm going to do that next. And uh, I might even plant some more crips in here. I don't know yet. Uh, but got to fertilize, stuff like that. So we're just chiming in on this tank. This tank I'm going to do a whole video on. this. I'm gonna redo the entire thing so it looks terrible. I'm gonna try and make it like, take it from the worst tank ever to a really good looking tank. And so that's all subjective, right? Like most people think most of my tanks look bad. That being said, I might fully aquascape, I might inject CO2, I might do high tech, high light, high C, you know, uh, high ferts, all that kind of stuff. Haven't decided yet. I do know I'm not leaving it like this, that's for sure. Uh, but. I might use it to teach how to treat green, not green water, uh, cyanobacteria, which I know I've been saying I'm going to do that before, but I always, I'm never motivated to do that video. Uh, and then someone wanted to see the, um, the uh, African cichlid tank, so we'll take a seat, we'll take a look. So here we are, we've got the jungle valve. It's still, it's doing better, you know, and so it's, it's happy, it's purling, that's what that is, like when a plant is doing that. It's purling, so it's growing so well. Um, but it's just not propagating as fast as I want. It's starting to propagate, don't get me wrong. Like you can see, here's a plant, boom, there's the next one. You've got one back there that bounced, and you've got, let me see if I can show you guys. Uh, if we zoom in, oh, it's gonna focus on the algae, which, I should put some nerite snails in here. Uh, I can't show you, I don't think. Basically, there's that green, line going across the gravel you can see there right in the corner that's where the next plant's going to bounce up and we've got that doing it here so it kind of does that big one and then it goes bing and then it goes bing and then it looks like it's going to bounce again so slowly but surely it is um you know it is spreading it's taking longer than i would like and i swear that's because it's on camera i also chose a very broad leaf um, jungle vowel and maybe I'll add some of the Italian vowel which is a, a lot narrower because that tends to grow faster for me um, but you know fish are doing pretty well none of the fry are surviving yet because it's not dense enough but overall the fish are doing I think decent we've got lots of floating plants in here uh, we've got um, most all of that is um, water sprite and you can see here this there's some valve they've lifted off and that's replicated a bunch because it's so close to light i could certainly take that out put it into another tank or plant it back down here that type of thing so yeah i don't think i have many other one tank at a times to update um you know i'm hoping to get time and i could spend some more time on this tank but i'm also filming new stuff so um yeah back to work for me I know I want, I've got more plants to plant, so I gotta plant them somewhere, or at least get them into water. I thought I would chime in real quick on my wife's tank. She's been working on it the last couple of days, got some stuff replanted, and she wants to get some fish and things like that, so, um, you know, good sign we got the top off. That means we're actually doing some stuff. A couple things came unplanted, but she'll fix that tonight when she gets home from work. She's been filling in, you know, people have been calling in sick and stuff like that, so, yeah. You know, so people always ask, what's it doing? It's doing this mostly. She cut, you know, we got through the green water, cut down the tops. She cut down the tops and replanted so that they can come back in. Now she needs to get some more fertilizer in there. This bovinianus is getting happy again, so it's big, right? And then right there, it's going to shoot up flowers and stuff above the water. So that'll probably happen in the next few days. 
Uh, Java Fern's doing well back there. But yeah, you know, now she just needs to figure out what she wants to do with it. But, you know, it looks, looks good. And, uh, you know, hopefully she's having fun. That's the important part. She's got to service her sponge filters, I think. And uh, she'll be good to go. So, all right. Well, I think that's all I've got today. Kind of ran out of time. I got to do uh, dinner with an employee again so that I can, uh, you know, talk strategy and all that kind of stuff. Threw some plants in some of the tanks that I want to get planted. There's some more dwarf Sagittaria there. Uh, let's see, we've got, I could show you the, the bigger guppies. They're starting to put some color on. I just threw some plants in there for now, but here we've got the bigger guppies and uh, you know just starting to color out on some of these so that's good hopefully I can salvage this colony and uh, let's see did I put any other plants anywhere else I think I put a bunch of crypts down here haven't planted them yet or anything like that but uh, yeah ran out of time I took a bunch of video for um, uh, goldfish and for uh, the blue phantom plecos and the sultans so I'm gonna try and get all those up on the website hopefully those are up by the time you're watching this Got to go edit right now. We'll see if I can get that done. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Taco Union, as always. Check out the other videos, and we'll see you tomorrow.